Uh, this week's quick tip is on posture. So I see a lot of players in here that come in for lessons with really poor posture. So here's a couple of things we can do to ensure that we stay up to the ball correctly and build a good foundation for our swing. All right, so most of the common things I see in poor posture is, is posture looks like this. So a little bit too much knee flex, a little bit too much in the heels, kind of like we're sitting in the toilet. Um, rounded spine, see that quite a lot, too much roundness in the spine. And then I see a little bit of this as well sometimes. So straight arms, um, all those things aren't going to allow us to rotate very well in the golf swing and keep our balance, which is uh, very important to be able to control this thing the best we can. So a couple of key things to look at here. One of my favorite ways to get people with the correct uh, hip hinge is to take a golf club and put it on your spine, have it kind of have two touch points, kind of shoulder blades and then tailbone here. Um, we're not gonna have the head on it, that'd be too rigid. So tailbone, shoulder blades, we're gonna stand up tall, relaxed, and we're gonna feel this hip hinge and these two touch points remain. So tailbone, shoulder blades, hinge correctly, and that gets our spine in a good spot. Do that a couple times, just to feel like we can get this hinging properly. If you are too rounded, your shoulder blades will come off the club and you're not gonna be able to rotate as efficiently. So that's my first tip. It's about clubbing the spine, shoulder blades, tailbone, a little bit of hip hinge to really correctly get that spine in a good spot, uh, which allows us to rotate well and not get too rounded. All right, so we've got our spine tilt correctly done. We're not rounded like this anymore. What we're gonna feel here is, okay, how, where should my arms be? How far away from my body should they be? So take the club in your hands up tall here. Feel the same thing you just did with the club on your spine. And then I'll, the same motion, keep going till you hit the ground and then adjust accordingly. Get that ball in the middle of the club face, okay? So that gives us these hands, a good position where these hands are right below the shoulders. We're not reaching like this too much. I see a lot of that in here. Uh, a lot of reaching, a lot of tension. Um, but yeah, so take the club out in front of you. Do that same spine tilt drill we felt with the club on our spine. Keep going till the hands drop and then we're in a good spot. And then adjust accordingly, get that ball in the middle. So this gives us that nice look, hands below the shoulders. All right, knee flex. So I see a lot of people in here. It's pretty rare we ever see someone totally straight legged and locked out. Uh, I see a lot of uh, too much knee flex. Players get told all the time, oh, flex your knees, bend your knees. But I see sometimes a lot too much. Um, and just too much knee flex can lead to it being harder to maintain your balance throughout the swing. So all you really want to feel is when we get in this position again, just add a little, just a little touch of knee flex. That's all you need, just a little bit. Just so that you feel like the weight is in the balls of the feet, okay? So if we get too much knee flex, I start to feel the weight in my heels. Um, get in this position, good spine tilt, drop the club, and then just a touch of knee flex so that we feel we're, uh, we're in good contact with the ground, weights in the balls of the feet. I feel like I'm in a position where I can jump easily versus being kind of squatted down on my heels. It's gonna be harder to jump as efficiently. So feeling like good spine tilt, little bit of knee flex, weight in the balls of the feet. And this just puts us in a really good position to uh, have good rotation and good balance throughout the swing. And then the last couple points are with the stance. So I see a lot of players in here, narrow generally. And to me, narrow, it just, it just leads to too much instability during the swing. It's really easy for these knees to get outside the edge of the feet, a little bit off balance. So a general rule that I like to feel is when I get in my setup position, the middle of my feet are drawing a line just outside my shoulders somewhere around there. 
And that gives me a good solid foundation in which I can rotate and turn within and feel like my knees aren't, or my hips, my head isn't swaying outside my edges of my feet too much. So get set up, middle of the feet, outside the shoulders on both sides. And then I feel like I've got a really good foundation here to rotate and pivot within. Okay, so watch that head position as well. So we don't want to have it too rigid. See a little bit of this. People try to keep their heads too much in line with their spine. And I don't want to see it too tucked either. Um, when we get it too tucked, the shoulders raise up and you get this tense look here, which isn't gonna allow us to rotate as well. So get that neck and head in a nice neutral position. Don't feel too much tension. Not too tucked, not too rigid. Somewhere in the middle, nice and neutral, relaxed. And then in addition to that, another key point I see a lot in here is uh, spine tilt. So if I have this club up and down my spine here, I see some people too much leaning forward all right, and it's just not gonna allow us to pivot very well on the way back. We wanna feel like it's fairly neutral position. Kinda like when we set up a driver, we have it like this, back a little bit just to help us hit up on the ball. But iron's not quite as much, but we definitely don't wanna be stacked up over here. So a fairly neutral position here. Um, take that grip, there we go. So not anything like this, a bit more like neutral, just like that. And again, that's gonna allow us to pivot really well into the backswing. Another key point in building a good foundation, a good setup is, again, the same thing we did there with the spine club on the back of the spine, uh, feeling that nice tilt. Pay attention to what the pelvis is doing. So we don't wanna be sticking our, our backside out too much. It's gonna cause some, cause some pain stress in the lower back and then we don't want to be sitting under it too much like we're sitting down so find that neutral position uh, explore both uh, extremes so stick your backside out a lot and then get it tucked under and feel that neutral position again you're not wanting to feel too much tension in your lower back um, I see a little bit of that when people try and keep their back very straight um, they sometimes stick that back side out a little bit too much and you get that S curvature of the spine, which one's, it's, it's gonna maybe create some pain in the lower back. And then two, it's just not gonna allow us to pivot as properly, uh, as, as nicely as we'd like. So keep an eye on that pelvic tilt. All right, so take all those points on board to consistently set up uh, or build a really good foundation when you go and play golf. So. With, uh, with our jobs or careers or whatever, there's a lot of desk sitting, typing, there's a lot of driving a car. It encourages us to kind of sit a little slouched and really train that uh, posture. If you see the pros on TV every week, their posture is impeccable. It's something they're training all the time and it really can help build a good foundation to hit consistent golf shots.